Do you know what temperatures does your gas grill achieve? And I mean precisely, close to the grill. I'm not saying about the temperature that your thermometer on the lid is showing. Today we're gonna check it. So let's say you want to set up two zones of temperature on your gas grill. For example, two burners go to maximum and one is off. Obviously, on the right you're gonna reach maximum temperature, on the left it will be indirect heat, slightly lower. But what exactly is the temperature on the right and on the left? Because this will show you the average temperature from the whole grill. Today we're gonna check it with a thermometer and two probes on three grills. Broking Baron, Weber Genesis, Napoleon Rogue. And you must know, we're not trying to find the best, the most powerful, the strongest grill. We want to know how to set up precisely a temperature that we want on these three grills. Check it out. First I want to check what's the lowest temperature I can possibly set on these grills. So one burner is to minimum and other two or three are completely off. After 20 minutes we check the grill temperatures. Breaking Baron has reached 54 degrees Celsius in indirect zone and almost 100 above the working burner. Weber Genesis on the right has 103 degrees and indirect 71. Napoleon Rogue 90 and 53. Obviously, all these grills are able to do right now is keep our food warm. Let's check another setting. Low and slow. One burner to maximum, other two or three are off. This should give us a temperature somewhere around 100 and 120 degrees. This is perfect for smoking brisket or ribs. In this setting, after another 20 minutes, Broil King has reached 86 degrees and on the right 210. So here the temperature is a bit low because this grill has foreign burners, so it has more space to keep warm. In these grills it might be required to add another burner to minimum to achieve 100 and 120 degrees. Weber Genesis has reached 116. Perfect. And in the direct zone 170. Napoleon Rogue, indirect 107 Celsius. Also perfect. The interesting thing is that it has 250 degrees over the hot burner. If you really want you can still steer a steak over there after a while and wait for your brisket to be done. And now let's add another burner to max. This will give us a setup perfect for grilling steaks. On the right really high heat for searing and on the left much lower temperature to bring them gently to required doneness. This is what I really like. Obviously in the setup probes on the right are not working anymore, which is a good information as they don't go above 300 degrees Celsius and this temperature is perfect for searing steaks. But for me, more crucial is the indirect heat, as the temperature on this side cannot be too high. This can make the steak go tough and dry. In this zone, the lower, the better. Let's check the temperature. 210 Celsius on Napoleon. Not perfect, a bit high. Genesis, 220, even higher and 160 on broiling. That's a big advantage of four burner grill. Next setting, all burners set to minimum. For me this is a very important setting as I use it frequently for chicken wings, potatoes and veggies. That should give us a medium high heat, around 200 degrees Celsius. On the Napoleon, probe shows 200 degrees and the thermometer on the lid shows 205. Weber, is 190 on both. What an accurate thermometer. And Baron, 230 on the lead and a probe 260. I don't like this discrepancy. And as we see this setup on four burner grill won't give us medium high heat, at least on broking. 260 is a high heat. Next setting, middle burner is off and two outer burners are turned on to minimum. That should give us temperature perfect for roasting big pieces of meat like a whole pork neck or whole chicken within a couple of hours and still keep it juicy. 
broking 164. Weber 145. Napoleon 156. All of the grills achieved perfect temperature for this kind of job. 140 to 160. Okay, 164 is fine too. And now for the last test. Let's check these bad boys. All in. Baron 370 degrees Celsius. This is really damn high. The more burners you have, the more careful you must remain. Genesis 300. This is really low on the other hand. And I must confess to something. I realized later that was the weakest Genesis I have in my backyard. Usually in this setting they achieve 320 to 330 degrees Celsius. This one was just getting small amounts of oxygen. Here is where you can fix it. From my experience I can say that there can be a difference even 20-30 degrees between exactly the same grills, Genesis, Baron or Rogue. If you have a grill that remains at 300 or below in this setting, try to adjust the oxygen intake. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, just hit the subscribe button. I will show you how to fix it really soon. Napoleon. It's hard to establish. But I believe it's somewhere around 350 degrees Celsius. And now for the conclusion. Well, I don't really have any conclusions for you. I just want you to know how you can set up the grill to achieve different temperatures. There's the first thing. And second thing, what should you do after buying a new grill? Check the temperatures in different burner setups. Let me know if you want to see another test with cheaper grills like Napoleon Freestyle or Weber Spirit or maybe anything else. Take care. Bye.